Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Cat Woods. I'm going to share today a few tips or not really tips, just how I um, go about highlighting my Bible, how I go about picking a verse for the day. I don't have anything really planned out. Typically, normally I don't. I just go with the flow. I start talking and I just, I hope this is okay. <laughs> it seems to be working for me, so I'm just going to continue doing what I have been doing. Okay, so um, first of all, before you start any, any kind of study, go to the Lord. Go to the Lord in prayer. If you're fortunate enough to have a war room, a prayer closet, um, just a spot where you can hide out, including the bathroom. That's, that's where I go. I go to the bathroom because a lot, if you've heard a few of my videos, you'll hear my husband screaming and he's on the game. If I go upstairs, you hear my son screaming, he's on the game. So I physically have to hide out in the bathroom just to get quiet. And with me doing that, I have to like turn on the fan, have some kind of, you know, noise on because I can still hear them. So hide out wherever you can. If you don't have a quiet spot in your home, go to your vehicle. That sounds funny, but go to your vehicle. Go someplace where you can just cling to the Lord and just ask for his guidance. I suggest in another video to do this process before you even get up. So you're not having to find the Lord, you know, throughout your busy day. Do it as soon as you get up. So when you're first waking up before your feet even touch the ground, ask the Lord, ask the Lord to come into you to help guide you with the Holy Spirit on how you can start your day. So the moment that happens, the moment you feel him, the moment, and it can, it can be simple. You can make it, you know, just close your eyes. Lord, help, help guide me today. I am headed to the Bible study or, or my Bible study. I need the Holy Spirit to help guide me to what you want me to learn today. It could be that simple. Or you could really get into a meditation and really ask for his, you know, for him to really, really speak to your spirit. It depends on how much time you have in the morning. Um, if you have to do this in the evening, same thing. How much time before you got to go to bed. So just play, play around with it. Play around with it until you find out what works for you. Because what works for me may not, you know, someone may not be able to do it, may not be able to apply it. So just play around with it until you figure out what works for you. Just use what I'm giving you to whatever time of day, wherever you're at, whatever situation you got going on for you, you know, apply it there. Okay? So, after after you feel the Holy Spirit, and you will know when you feel the Holy Spirit. You will know when you have the Lord living inside of you. Because it's just, it's something unbelievable, and it's just, it's just not one of those things like, like you can just turn on and turn off. It's, it's impossible. You can't. So... When you feel the Holy Spirit, God, you can um, either pick up, I normally pick up my Bible. I rarely, at this, at these moments, pick up a, um, like a devotional or something, but I, I pick up the Bible. And I've expressed in another, you know, another video, I'm just holding it. I'm holding the Bible and I'm asking, you know, what, what, what do you want? Where do you want to guide me? What do I need to learn today? What do I need to learn to help, you know, spread your word, teach somebody, you know, different, guide me to the right scripture. And I don't know, 85% of the time it happens for those moments that it doesn't. I don't, I don't get discouraged. I'm not thinking like, Oh, well, the Lord's not with me today. So I'm going to have a bad day. Don't ever think like that. Don't ever feel like that. So in those moments, I want you to pull out Oh, this isn't one <laughs> to pull out um, a, a devotional I have a couple of books I'm always sharing these two because these are the two that I'm using right now but you can pull out I've purchased this one from the good well, you can pull out all different kinds even little ones like this there's so many devotionals out there and hundreds at the Goodwill so if you can't spend like a full price these normally 15 13 12 dollars these little guys can cost go to the, go to the goodwill you can get them there for 50 cents a dollar so find devotionals 
get a few devotionals and I say a few different because you don't only want to work out of one the same as the Bible you just only want to work out of one so pick out you know the devotional for the day and you're always um, you know there's always at least going to be a scripture rather they have positive quote whether they have um, you know a workout sheet to do with it that's de depending on the devotional you're working with but they will for sure have a scripture so that scripture is what's going to guide you for that day and if the Lord lays lays a different scripture upon your heart for that day with this one great that's an extra bonus that's something he's showing you and that's what you want you want to follow what he's showing you so if, if you're reading this one and something else pops up in your head like oh okay so I, I remember you know reading that that reminds me of the scripture that right there was a the Holy Spirit guiding you he was guiding you to that additional scripture so let's just go to today's this is today's scripture for me no, this is today. So we're on the 27th. <laughs> 27th of April is where we're at. Okay, so this is today's scripture for me. So I am going to come over and I'm going to read. Well, what I love about this devotional is it gives you sections to read over on top of, you know, a scripture. So I love that. I really, really do. So if you are fortunate enough to get a, a devotional, which I can share with you what this devotional is. It's Our Daily Bread. The devotional collection and I don't know if there's anything extra it's by this company and I don't think there's any barcodes or anything this was sent to me from my sweet sister Tammy so I can't give additional that's all the information I have is right there so if you can get this I would highly suggest doing it okay so I will go off and um I'm actually, this will be another additional video I'll make, but I write this down as part of my, you know, not really my scripture writing because my scripture writing is different. I'm not going to go on a different tantrum. I, I do that and I don't want to do that. Okay, so I read over what the verse is about and then I come into the Bible. I just don't read the one little scripture that they have here because as you see, it's part of what they suggest. So I'm not going to cut corners and be like, oh. I read a scripture from what they suggested I'm gonna hop into the devotional no 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 you go and take the steps you have to put in the time the effort and the work to see yourself you have to plant yourself to see yourself bloom you can't just you know try to plant and expect blooming with or yeah you can't plant yourself and expect blooming without watering so the all these steps takes you to the process of actually getting your garden started so we that's that's how you start that's how you pick that's how for those of you who are like how do I pick a verse how do I you know where do I go I'm sitting here with just a Bible and if for some reason you don't have a devotional okay you, you can't get your hands on a devotional you're um you really feel you're in your spirit that's where you're guided to get a Bible app go on your phone get a Bible app and they have devotionals on your Bible app I'm glad I thought about that you can get devotionals there but just you know going to a scripture we'll just pick some I want one I guess that was a good one because it had I just didn't like that big tip in. okay so we're going through the scripture I may not get to this Bible rainbow Bible which is fine and you highlight it okay I love YouTube using multiple multiple because I have them on hand I use my paper mate flares if you've seen what's in my pin bag I share every single pin that I carry with me all the time I use the paper mate flares a lot for my underlining you know in my, my scriptures in my rainbow study my I'll end up doing another video sharing that information but if you can only just get your hands on two highlighters I stress this so many times in a few videos you just need two highlighters get one color it doesn't have to be pink you can get blue you can get purple you can get orange whatever color you want to be you okay this pink color is me so whenever you see a pink color in my Bibles this is this is something for me I need to remember to come back to use this to go over it the yellow is important this is just real easy important Cat, you need to remember this is important to you. 
you need to remember you have to come back you have to you know this resonated in that time for some reason and I if you see put a pink cloud around it it this reminded me so you know hey you got to come back you got to continue to look at this this isn't just important for this one moment no I got to continue to apply my and I just pointed to the pink because pink resonates with me so I'm reminding me to come back and remind myself I need this I need this every day it's just not important for that one moment I need this every day so if you can just and you don't need any extra tools ask the Lord if he guided you to something in Psalms if he says you know what I want you to pull from Psalms read a couple of chapters in Psalms you know read a couple of verses if, if you don't have time for chapters and just read through it just go on and read through the Bible and if something you know as you're reading so something hits you like oh oh I felt that I needed that highlight it and date it date it you can write in look like a little small note what you pulled from it like I was I was reading the scripture and it, I pulled from I need to be thankful I need to be thankful for each moment I have with you know in time with the Lord and write that down that is a scripture so I'm sorry about this okay I will come right back to part two all right I love you